Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my latest order from Cloth & Paper with you guys. So I'm very excited to share everything in this box. At the end of the video, I will also be putting together a HP Mini notebook for um, project planning. So I'm really excited that this finally came in because I've been waiting on this for like two weeks because it got delayed because of the winter storms in Texas. And I'm just so excited to share this with you guys. So let's open this up and get started. All right, so this is a pretty large haul. Um, I just stocked up on things that I needed and also grabbed some new items on the website. So first up are the freebies that came in. And then we have the new accessories. So these are the new circle page flags and the new mocha arrow sticky note. So these are a lot smaller than I actually thought they were gonna be, which is perfect because I really wanted to use them in my pocket and my personal. So this is 1.25 inches and then this is 1.75 inches. And I will share what those look like inside of my agendas more towards the end. And then we have the inserts. So as I mentioned, I'll be putting together a HP mini. So all of this will be for that. Um, one thing that I did pick up for my pocket, I actually should have a few other items for my pocket. Um, so all of this is a true mini inserts and then I have two new items for my pocket. So I have a glass inbox dashboard and then these goal inserts and I'll put those in my planner with y'all after we share everything else. And then I also got the glass inbox dashboard for my personal and then we have the inserts. So I'm creating a project notebook for pretty much blogging and then just any like research and notes that I do for marketing on the side. So I have, so I purchased the memo sampler, the Gantt chart, the horizontal weekly undated inserts, the project management inserts, the project analysis inserts, the goal inserts, and then I ordered an additional set of side tabs for this new planner. So that is everything in this haul. So I'm going to put in all of these and then show y'all what the stickers look like and then we'll set up that notebook. Okay, and so that was everything for my pocket, my personal, and then the new accessories. And now for the notebook. So I already started putting this together. Right now I have the smaller discs on here. I might have to, I'll probably have to expand those. Um, I think these are one inch. And then inside of here I have this card holder from Amazon. Which, and then I have planner cards in here. I have the inbox and then I have the tabs. And so I already have the structure of where I want everything. So I'm just going to put everything in here and then share everything with y'all.
So I have everything in here. So card holder with cards, with some planner cards, my inbox from cloth and paper with just a sticky note. And then we have the blank tab divider. So I did order the CEO dividers from cloth and paper and those are coming in. So these are temporary. I just thought that'd be best with the structure that they have. And so this is following the structure. So this is the schedule tab. And so this has the 2021 dated monthly inserts. On here, I just have my editorial calendar. I also have uh, blog post ideas on the back for the month. And then on each monthly overview, I have things that I need to do per channel, important dates, um, bills due, so I can keep track of expenses and what I need to pay on here. Um, for goals, I think I'm just going to use this for like sticky note storage because I don't really create goals for my content each month. Um, if I have maybe like a huge collaboration or something, I'll put that there. But I think this is just going to be like a sticky note zone. So this is the current content calendar and how I'm using um, these inserts, listing collaborations on the bottom. And then I have six months in here. Yeah, so the first six months in here and then trying to decide if I should do the whole year was all based on the room. I think I'll be able to fit the whole year if I expand the rings. So um, I'll probably just order the new rings too and then um, put in the full year. But after that, this would be the list section. And so I'm waiting on my cloth and paper subscription box to come in. That's lost in the mail. In there, there is task delegation inserts. And when I saw that those were going to be in this one subscription box, I switched my subscription box for it to be HP mini size, just so I can get those in this agenda. So this is going to be for the de task delegation inserts in the subscription box. And so in that unboxing video, um, I'll put those in there so y'all can see what that looks like. And then the next section is the most important section. So this is the projects section and I'm very excited for this. So up front, I have the horizontal weekly undated inserts from cloth and paper. These came in a subscription box and I was using them for A5 and fell in love with them. And so I really wanted to put them into this planner because in my A5 planner, I was using them for content planning. So I'm going to set them up the exact same way that I've been using them. I just got the um, HP mini size, so it's all in one, but all of this was for content creating. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing on here. So I just put in the entire um, set in here because these are probably going to be my most used inserts in here. And then after that, we have the four top tab dividers. So I purchased all of the project inserts from cloth and paper. So we have the Gantt chart, the project management inserts, and then the project analysis inserts. And then I put the memo sampler behind this last tab, just so if there's anything that I need to work on, I need to take notes, I can pick whichever um, style I want and I can um, just, you know, take notes, move these around as needed. But this memo sampler comes with blank, grid, lined, and then um, dot grid insert. So I put the entire pack in here again so I can pick and choose whatever I need. But that is this entire section. It takes up the bulk of this section, um, but I love it. And I love the structure and the organization. I will also be using these inserts for work as well. I'm going to be using these in my work planner. Um, I'll probably have a separate video on that and how, where I'm putting those because I need to reconfigure that layout but I primarily purchased them for my personal project management. So we have that. After that, um, in the CEO dividers, this is for finances. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna use this for. Um, I might keep my cloth and paper subscription boxes on for HP mini, and then I can put in more stuff that um, from the subscription boxes in here and add them to my notebook because I feel like that's how I'm going to start using most of my inserts that come in those boxes is for project planning and personal. So I'm just leaving this blank for now. The next tab is goals and ideas. So I have these goal inserts, same ones that I put in my pocket, but these will be for blogging goals. And then the inserts that I put in here will be for my financial goals so I can break down those goals and just have them in here. So that's that section. And then the last section is miscellaneous. And so this is all of my notes that I have from different webinars and research that I've done from different journals 
on marketing that I just do for um, pretty much work, just so I can stay up to date with news. And so I just have all this back here. Um, this is primarily going to be used for content creating, but like I said, it's also just my personal notebook. So if there is a personal project that I want to work on, I'll put it in here too. I might use that finance tab for it. Um, but yeah, this is my personal notebook and I love it. I love that I finally have this together and the structure and the layout. And yeah, other than that, that is my most recent planner haul and my new notebook. Um, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.